Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, today I have the DJI Mavic 3 Cine, the most expensive DJI Mavic 3 on the planet. And I'm gonna take it for a flight using the original props and the brand new master air screw props, which are supposed to make my enjoyment of this even better because it's supposed to give me a longer flight time, better handling, quieter. So before I get into that, Watch this and I'll tell you a little bit about these props. The Master Air Screw Stealth props come in three different colors, green, orange, and black. Inside each box, you will find Master Air Screw stickers, Master Air Screw safety instructions, and the Master Air Screw carry pouch containing four props. You have two counterclockwise and two clockwise foldable props. The Master Air Screw props are a direct replacement for the DJI props, so they're the same size, same connection. One thing I did notice is that the DJI props are very stiff, whereas the Master Air Screw props are extremely flexible. And when it comes to weight, the DJI props weigh 9 grams, whereas the Master Air Screw props weigh 8 grams. According to Master Air Screw, these are the three benefits over the DJI props. So they're low noise, they're much more efficient, and they handle better in sport mode. All right, welcome back to me. So the first test I'm gonna conduct is checking out the flight time on the drone with the props and without the props. So right now I have the DJI original props on and I have a battery fully charged that I've just placed in it. It's not on yet, but I'm gonna power it on. And when I power it on and I have it ready to go, I'm gonna take note of how much battery power or flight time I have remaining. Then I'm gonna go fly it out about a thousand meters and then I'm gonna hit return to home. It's gonna come back and land someplace around here. And when it lands and shuts itself off, the props anyways, then I'm gonna check and see what the remaining flight time is and see what the differences are. I'll do exactly the same thing with the master air screw props out back and land and I should have a little bit more flight time remaining I would think with the master air screw props this is my first test here we go all right we're all set to go I've powered the drone on the cameras on and the controllers on here and of course I have the typical DJI Mavic 3 problem where the GPS signal is weak even though you can see here there's nothing blocking the reception it's just a defect on the DJI Mavic 3 all right so the home point is updated perfect because I need that for the return to home as long as it doesn't lose GPS when it's out there all right so here we go all right let's go up now one item I noticed by performing this test is how poorly the DJI Mavic 3 calculates the battery depleted time remaining look at the numbers they will actually go up the more you fly the more time you have left on the battery which is insane so it's not very accurate I would never trust it so for that reason in order to make this test accurate I have to trust the return to home automatic flight features so when I press it and return to home these are all the numbers they are screen captured and now it's going to fly back to me automatically another interesting fact I discovered about the DJI Mavic 3 doing this test is that it does not keep a constant flight speed look at below where the arrows pointing on the meters per second you will see it speeds up and it slows down when it slows down I receive more time remaining for flight and when it speeds up I receive less time remaining for flight it is monitoring the battery and ensuring that it does not overuse the battery power in flight so you can never trust the time remaining until battery depleted indication on the screen never go by that it's terrible always stick with the battery percentage that is more accurate so what are the final results using the DJI props? Well, let's look at our little chart. You can see that when I press the return to home button, we had 94% battery power remaining. And when we came back and touched the ground, we were at 88% battery power remaining. So we use 6%. And I'm sure some of you are wondering, how good was the precision landing? Did the Mavic 3 land back on the landing pad when I put it returned home? Well, let's check it out. Coming down, coming down. I'm letting it go by itself. It's quite accurate to the landing pad. There we are. All right, so there you can see it. I've got the master air screw props on and uh, we're gonna check out if there's any difference. So here we go. Look at the green, wow, that looks really sweet. Check that out, oh, I love that. 
Here I'm repeating the test now using the master air screw stealth props for the DJI Mavic 3 and you can see we have the same issue with the time remaining just going up and down up and down. So we're going to come to a stop and when I hit the return to home button that's when I'm going to start the calculation for percentage and time remaining. So here we go we're coming to zero stop and return to home. We're at 91% battery power remaining and as we go into return to home we're going to encounter the exact same problem that we did with the DJI props in that the until battery depleted notification will go up and down. We're going to gain battery power and lose battery power, so totally unreliable. We're about to land and our battery power is at 85%. Not bad. So what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, let's look at when I press the return to the home button. We were at 91% battery power. We landed at 85%. That gives a difference of 6%. Same as the DJI props. I guess my test wasn't long enough. But let's check out how good that precision landing was using the master air screw props. Whoa, there she is. Wow, that landed super accurate. That's amazing. And now we come to test number two. Test number two, I'm just gonna hover this baby with the original DJI props on it right in front of me. This camera that's recording me now has a very expensive microphone on it and I'm gonna stand exactly the same distance away, hover it and you'll hear the sound. Then I'll put on the master air screw props and hover it exactly the same. And then I will just chop up the video and show you the difference in the sound. You're gonna hear one's a higher pitch, one's a lower pitch. I won't do any of those silly, you know, you take a device and you see how much noise is coming off of the actual drone because honestly you can listen to really loud spa music super loud and it doesn't annoy you however you can listen to punk music at a low volume and it will annoy you so it's actually the pitch and the sound what annoys you and that's what you get when you have props it's the human ear some things are annoying some things are not annoying so what master air screw does is they try to lower the pitch a lot of times to make it less annoying so let's go try that out now <laughs> And now we come to my last test. I'm going to put the drone in sport mode. I have the DJI original props on it and I am just going to whip it around here and whip the hell out of it and see how it handles. And uh, then I'm going to do the same thing with the master air screw props. If this drone had the ability to turn off the GPS, you know, if I could manually turn it off, then I could really, really put it to the test. But no, you can't turn the GPS off on these because they're sort of beginner drones. They don't want beginners turning the, the GPS off. So I have to leave the GPS on. Although some people have said they had GPS problems maybe to turn off in flight we'll see anyways here's the test let's try it out okay here we go the sport mode test putting in sport mode there we are so now let's see uh, if it handles really really wickedly good so first thing let's keep it low to the ground <laughs> just just cruise of course you have to be very careful in sport mode when using this drone because there are no sensors for pretty much anything other than gps do some funnels here Keep it, whoa, I almost hit my case. <laughs> oh, that was close. Sport mode is fun, but you really have to know how to fly a drone. There we go. Spin it around here. It looks pretty cool if I do it this way. There we go, right at an angle, super fast. Doesn't that look wicked? All right, let's go the other way. Oh, I'm getting dizzy here. All right, so let's land this and put the uh, master air screw props on. Okay, I've got the master air screw props on. Start her up. All right, same as before. We're gonna put you in sport mode. There we are, and uh, let's just whip it around here. There we go. Woohoo! There we go, I've got a load of the ground doing some tight turns. Look at the green, doesn't that look sweet? The green on there? I think it looks really cool. All right, this is sport mode. I'm whipping around here. I'm gonna send it off straight in five, four, three, two, one. 
There she goes. And I'm super, super zingy dizzy here. Let's come back. It looks really cool with the green though. I will admit that. Wow. Okay, if these props do nothing other than wow people because of the colors, then, you know, I think, I think I'm sold on that. Going low to the ground, sport mode, doing figure eights. Pretty fun. Whoa, baby. All right, let's bring it on back. Brakes. There we go. All right, normal mode. Bring it over, land it. I do love that green. I know I keep saying that, but man, does that look cool. All right, so that ends my three tests. I haven't seen the results, but I can tell you a few things at this point. So when it flew out and returned back to home, the only thing I can tell you is if you watch the speed on the bottom, even though I had the joystick pushed full on, you know, the right joystick going forward, there is a wind and the same is coming back. There is a wind. So you'll see the meters per second change. So that does affect the results. And you know, I did a short time. I didn't do a full battery. So the results are whatever the results are, but you've seen the results. I haven't seen them yet. And with the noise test, well check out behind me that's a freaking highway back there yeah and of course of course when I started the noise test well what happens buses go by trucks go by and it makes a lot of rumbly noise probably affects the overall sound so I tried shooting from different angles on the drone I was three feet away using a very expensive microphone which is on a very expensive camera that's over there and um, yeah so you know the results are what the results are but normally master air screw props always bring the pitch down a bit and they try to make their props more efficient in simple ways ways like you know the angle of the prop and you know how they're shiny <laughs> yeah seriously it's less drag when the props are turning and the props will turn slower on a master air screw system because you get more lift with less effort so you should get more overall flight time and of course the last test I did when I had it in the sport mode well I'm just a crazy Canadian maniac so you know I fly FPV drones and I fly camera drones like FPV drones a lot of times so I'm whipping all over the place in sport mode I honestly could not tell a difference. So your results may change. You might be able to tell a difference if you have a certain maneuver that you do all the time in sport mode, and then you do exactly the same maneuver that you're very used to doing with these props on, you may notice a difference because they are supposed to cut the wind more and give you a, a better angle. Like the drone should turn even faster and get around corners and do stuff. So. That's the end of my uh, test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put links below to these props. I will say right off the bat, I did check the price on them. They are rather costly. But then again, if you can afford this drone, you are Mr. or Mrs. Moneybanks because this is an expensive DJI drone for what you get. So if you can afford this drone, you definitely can afford these props. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments on these props, something I didn't cover or questions you have before you're thinking of buying them, just post a comment below. I'll check it out. I'll give you the answer and everybody can benefit from it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in another video soon. Bye.